pivot tables are created in Excel. I first need to export the data which I plan to use. In this instance, I'm going to focus on the people report. So I go to reports and people. I maybe select any relevant filters. I scroll to the bottom and hit go. And then I hit download to export my data. Here I now have the data automatically laid out in a way which enables me to create a pivot table which can be really handy for any of my further analysis. So here if I click on any cell within the data, within the table of data, I can then say insert at the top here, pivot table. It automatically highlights the whole table for me which is great. I say yes, I'd like this to go into a new worksheet, a new tab effectively. And I say OK. Here, I can then start to build my pivot table. You see that when I'm clicked into this little bit on the left, I have these options appear on the right, i.e. which fields do I want to use to break my data down. You can apply fields in both the rows and the columns, but in a very straightforward example, first off, if I want to know the amount of people that came from each of my different constituencies, which was in that big data that I had on the previous tab. I could select constituency here and drag it down into rows. And then I can also say, well, the values that I want to see are the amount of people that come from each of these constituencies. So again, I click on constituency and I break that down into values. You can, like I say, you could add additional criteria into columns. So for example, we might want to look to Add in the gender breakdown. So how many females came from Chelsea and Fulham, for example, we can now see that straight away. We can also say that we don't just want to see a count of this information. We can change that to percentages or averages or sums, etc. by changing the value field settings.